Atlantic Sharks. So my presentation is about technology being our day too early. So my uh, pitch is uh, I'm developing a detailed guide and to help the computer help users upgrade their computer and make a piece of software for it that is easy and to use with people that have no knowledge or just want to save money and use what they have and solve the problem of updated technology within laptops because. I am going to do this by making it very detailed, but not so technical to confuse people, and try to use software that somewhat exists, and uh, attempted to make it all one package so people wanted to do anything in the process. So, so the problem I'm trying to solve is that um, that computers are being outdated really, really <coughs> especially specifically on laptops. In three to four years, they become outdated and useless by the average consumer and they don't realize that the computer could s still be useful for a little bit longer, but the manufacturer intentionally breaks them so you can buy another computer. And this is three factors that <coughs> are usually better, and that's by usability, reliability, and build to price ratio. And usability, uh, older computers have tons of ports on the computers compared to the newer counterparts, meaning that you must have to bring separate adapters in today's computers in order to use parts of it. And if you forget to bring it, uh, you're out of luck, which right here is the 2015 one, which it was the last time that it had tons of ports. And this one is the new models from 2016 and up. And this one, I put touch bar model because uh, touch bar models have four USB ports and the one that don't, they only have two. <coughs> and this adapter right here, um, they cost six, $70 each. And so far the rating, uh, it's two stars online on Apple's website, and the main reason for that is the HDMI port sometimes doesn't work reliably, reliably, and when they plug in flash drive, they sometimes they disconnect and they corrupt data. And the really worst case scenario is the adapter either burns out or it fries out your USB port. And reliability is all the computers were generally more reliable than our new kind of parts, and they're. They can, you can practically upgrade anything on the older models compared to their newer ones because newer models, they like to fuse everything, so they have to force to buy a new computer, and sometimes components fail as necessary. So my two examples for that is um, keyboard scaling right here. Uh, er, last year in 2018, Apple had silently put a rubber barrier on their keyboards right here, which is that little piece by the tweezers right here, and Apple noticed that their keyboards were malfunctioning due to dirt and dust and Apple, after people uh, realized that um, the keyboards were malfunctioning because of that issue, they were quite upset and uh, Apple was even served lawsuits over this issue. And even though my uh, sources, uh, ifixit.com, uh, tested out this new design, uh, number one pillar for these keyboards um, is sand because it's so fine and uh, it just destroys the entire mechanism on the inside. And even though Apple has made a replacement, replacement program, which is their version of their recall, uh, they still malfunction. So people are still saying that it's still not working. And the uh, Flexgate scandal, which again, 2018, they silently <coughs> screen design <coughs> because of a big fatal flaw they have on prior models. and. Uh, if your computer starts to uh, fail the screen, it would start doing stage light patterns or sometimes when you open up the computer all the way, it would just shut off completely. And the prior <coughs> model when opened up, well, the cable was so short that it rubbed up against uh, the motherboard because it was so sharp, the, the edges, and it would just rip through the cable entirely after opening and closing it so many times throughout the years that it would just break. In, in 2018, they made the cable longer, which is right here, um, just so they wouldn't do the issue again. And so far, Apple has not served a lawsuit over this issue, but Apple has intentionally deleted comments over this issue or doesn't want to explain it to, them, to the general consumer. And my third one is built price ratio. So basically, when I buy a new laptop or a desktop, in that matter, uh, I usually like to compare prices to the original pricing that they're asking, and uh, and the other pricing is one I have to um, build it myself. If 
and it's basically what it is is that um, if it's even worth having a laptop and you're getting the money that you paid for. So these two right here, they're the higher end models from each year. This one is the higher end model, which was the only computer at the time. Uh, all of this right here adds up to 1,199 at original pricing, but if you build it yourself, it costs 1,916, but it's, you, it's not quite the original pricing, but it's almost close, so I kind of find it tolerable. But the higher end one right here for 2018, uh, it costs $2,000, $2,800. And it, if you were to build it yourself, it would cost $2,234, which I kind of find it uh, really hard to believe over that issue. And what has been done before over this issue is um, there's a community out there making software for the older computers that, are met, that want to be upgraded. And there's a notable tool out there that um, that you can get the latest operating system on these old computers at Apple intentionally bricks, and it's called Mac OS Sierra or Mojave Patcher. And it was made by a group of people online, and it does work for some extent, but it's quite complicated to use. So that's one issue I'm going to solve. The main reason for this whole problem matter, this whole problem matters, is money, because according to an article, which is Macworld.uk, Apple has made 7.4 billion computer billion dollars in computers alone in 2018 of November. And they also like to overcharge a computer repairs. So for example, a logic board from Apple would cost $1,500, but in reality, a bunch of board you can put in yourself or someone else to do it costs $900. And my solution is, I was combined with what has been done already to make an all-in-one piece of software because some computers need more bit more work than others to operate and also make it, really <coughs> make it automated so people wouldn't have to bother messing with anything about the operating process. And after all this is done, I'll be documenting everything on Microsoft's OneNote because it's not only clean, it makes everything easy to understand and find what you're looking for, but I've seen websites that explain this entire process in a terrible way, like it's in list form. It sometimes doesn't make any sense unless someone that's really tech savvy explains it to you, and once everything has been completed, I'll be publishing everything on some community tech websites, such as Reddit, Tom's Guide, and etc. Any questions? Thanks. So, questions for Miguel. I have a computer that needs some updating. <laughs> <laughs> you did a really good job um, demonstrating the details related to, and examples of things that I feel robbed right now, like just thinking mm -hmm. about all that stuff, but um, you did a really good job. Great work. Yeah, I think, I, I, I love the topic. I mean, it's 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 a real topic. It's it's an issue that, that everybody has, everybody's gonna have. Um, you clearly know what you're talking about, which was, was nice to hear. Um, yeah, I, uh, all around it was, a, it was a very good presentation. You did a, a lot of good research. Um, one suggestion I have is talk to me a little bit. Um, you know, turn around and face the crowd a little bit. I don't think you you didn't need to read it. I think uh, you know that was that was just kind of a, a safety thing for you to be able to turn around and read it because I think you knew everything by heart. I think you probably, mm -hmm. probably have this entire thing memorized. Um, so overall, I think it was a it was a very good good presentation. I think you did a lot of good research. I think it's a it's a good answer. Um, you know, you've got a, a a good idea that you could monetize. I'd say just for like the non-technical person, there was almost too much detail for someone like me. I, it was obvious that you, I mean, I'm sitting there listening and I'm like, I felt like that bobblehead that's sounding long because I'm like, okay, that makes sense what you're saying, but a lot of the words like were like here. So um, obviously in certain circles, you, you can pitch this and they're gonna get it and they're gonna be on board with you and they're gonna be like, yeah, and they're gonna totally get what you're talking about. So it might just be like a know your audience thing. If, you, if you're gonna go maybe for like funding to people who don't have, you know, just kind of think about modifying this if you're talking to a different crowd. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, I, it was very apparent to me that you're knowledgeable, that you know it. Um, I mean, I just felt proud of myself when you mentioned like the I fix it. I was like, oh, I know somebody who does that. <laughs> and then, then it was like, okay, that's kind of where he's going. That gave me the end to like what you were talking about that I, I had no idea that there was like a group of people out there who were like <laughs> hell bent on kind of sticking it to the companies and doing things for a more 
reasonable cost. Mm -hmm. So I think that's awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, it, again, just great presentation, right, to reiterate what, what everyone else has already said. I think you identified a real problem, you, you backed it up with some evidence, and you walked us through some of those solutions. I, I guess just uh, I will further that encouragement of, right, I mean, there, there was a lot of talking to the screen and, and not the audience and us out here. But I, I, I do, you know, as following along, you weren't reading the, the bullet points. So that wasn't the problem of, hey, I'm just reading what I put on the screen. You, you knew the material, and a lot of what you were telling us was common. It was added commentary to what you, you wrote. So I think that even just furthers the proof of, look, you, you know this, right? You could have try and, and, and turn more to us, you know, and give that commentary to us because we can, you know, obviously read, read the notes as well. Uh, I guess one little point of clarification, maybe it's just, you know, I, I don't know enough. You walked us through all these problems with Macs, uh, but then your solution is to put this on Microsoft OneDrive. So is that a place that Mac users are going to see the information? Yes. In? Okay. So, but, yeah, Brock, good job. Man, I'm never buying a MacBook Pro for y'all. <laughs> man, you convinced me. Um, but man, the only thing to improve, I thought it was great, your comfort level. Drop your arms, engage your audience. You've got this. You've got the knowledge, you've got the the clear speech, you're passionate about it, just do more presentations and you will hit it out of the park, man, because you've got the cognitive portion down, the audience portion, man, you're just scratching the surface, it'll be great. But you know, you brought your computer up mm -hmm. there, but you didn't talk about it at all. You well, talk this about is my 2008 MacBook Pro right here. Uh, I just got it from a garage sale. Uh, I already started working on the uh, operating system side of things a little bit. Um, some things are working out right now, but I, like, I really want the entire process to like make everything work and not just make one part work and one part not work. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, so you're kind of rebuilding that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I got one like that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even turn on anymore, you want it? Nah, all right, one's already <laughs> This one's already been beaten up. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I I really have one of my Miguel could buy the other one, fix it up, and then give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I like that plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Anything else for Miguel? Thank you so much, guys. Great job.